Hey, it's Elizabeth in the Coastline Library, and this video is actually for Coast employees, and specifically I say for my fellow employees at Coastline, my faculty and staff and administrators, and it is going to cover how to submit IT tickets. Uh, in case you didn't know, the Coastline Library is basically 100% online, so technology is super important to me so that students have access to all of our resources. And surprisingly, sometimes things don't work. And so over the time I've been here at Coastline, I have learned that there is a really effective way to submit IT request tickets to district. I happened to just learn that because we had a whole bunch of technology go down for the libraries across the district. And now I would like to share what I have learned and what has been recommended to me so you can also submit IT tickets effectively. So the first thing to know is there are three different ways to contact district IT. The first is you can email their help desk, you can call them, or you can submit a request via their form. So to find it, you can just Google CCCD IT help and it's going to come up. So the thing I'm going to talk to you today is the form that you can submit because you have to be on campus to be able to use this according to their website. So what you'll do is you'll click on that link. You're going to log in with your My Coast user name and password and then a, your page is going to come up and then from there you're going to click new IT service desk ticket and in here you're going to fill in all of this information they ask you like what's your sort description information about yourself and then you're going to put in the description and this is important because if you submit it via email, someone has to kind of file this and fill it in manually. So if you go straight to this form, you already put all this information in. So things I've learned now is when I write my description about what is going on, I very quickly just say, this is what's wrong, this is what I need to happen. I try not to solve any problems, I just say, uh, our email account is not working correctly. This is what we're seeing. This is what I need to happen. It is affecting our customer service. And then I lay out as much information as I can. Like here's the email account. Here's the web browser I'm using. Here's this, here's this, here's this. I reference screenshots. I take lots of screenshots and then I attach all of those. And then at the bottom of the form, I can add CCs. And in this case, I put myself in. I'm not sure if I'll get this if I don't. And I've also sometimes copied my dean or other people who are involved. In the case of um, when all of the libraries across all the, di the district went down, I copied librarians there. So that way we all were on the same page. And what this will do is it will generate a help ticket and you will get that in your email. And when someone responds to that help ticket, it will kind of show up. And this is the other thing I've recently learned, which is not to respond in the email, which I totally can respond in the email. But apparently in the IT system, it doesn't always show up appropriately or the attachments I put in the email don't always get linked. So there is an option in your IT ticket when you get it in your email to click on something that says click here to view ticket in browser. And when you do that, you can go back in and then you can can add additional comments into your ticket. And this is the best way to be as effective as possible with district IT because when you don't do this, it formats it in such a weird way. Like I had something happen and I was like, how did you not know? Look at all this stuff I sent. And when they sent me the text, it was just this continuous running file of text, including all of the email information like the brackets and just it wasn't effective and so my goal is to try to get things solved and I also want to be really effective when I work with IT and so this is something that I definitely just recommend. If you need to call in a request I would really highly recommend that you have the IT person read back to you what they wrote in the ticket to make sure that you have all of the information that you'd like to have and that um, you just follow up on it. So from this um, system it's called Footprints you're able to go in and you're able to review your tickets. And so I have a lot of tickets and so I go in and I just follow up on them if they haven't been um, closed. But right now I'm looking at most of my tickets being closed. So the bottom line is we are blessed. We get to use technology to um, supplement and to enhance and in my case actually host everything for the library. And when that stuff, when there's stuff going down, you know, the best thing we can do is work with our IT team and this seems to be a very effective way of doing that. 
So I hope this helps. And you know, if you have IT problems, definitely call them. And if you need to cry or you're frustrated, I am happy to be the shoulder that you can lean on. Because at the end of the day, we're all here to get um, things done, to serve students and work with all of our partners. And um, that's it, I hope we can. Okay, have a great day, bye.